Hey everybody, Dave here. I just wanted to read a real quick short story from a book uh, called The Happiness Equation by Neil Pasricha. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Um, I, when I read this story, I was just like, I don't know, it really just resonated with me. So hopefully it uh, have the same effect uh, on you as well. So um, let me go ahead and get started. The name of the little story from the book is called The Classic Tale of the Mexican Fisherman. So let's go ahead and get started. A boat is docked in a tiny fisherman's village. A tourist wearing expensive sunglasses and a fancy watch walks by and compliments a fisherman on the quality of his fish and asks how long it took him to catch them. Not very long, answers the fisherman. But then, why didn't you stay out longer and catch more, asks the tourist. The fisherman explains his small catch is enough to meet his needs of those in his family. The tourist asks, but what do you do with the rest of your time? I sleep late, I fish a little, play with my children, take a siesta with my wife. In the evenings, I go to the village and see my friends, have a few drinks, play the guitar and sing a few songs and have a full life. The tourist jumps in, I have an MBA, I can help you. You should start by fishing longer every day. You can then sell the extra fish you catch. With the extra money, you can buy a bigger boat. And after that, asks the fisherman, with the extra money and a larger boat will bring, you can buy a second one and a third one until you have an entire fleet of trawlers. Instead of selling your fish to the middleman, you can then negotiate directly with the processing plants, maybe even open your own plant. You can then leave this little village and move to New York City. From there, you can direct your huge new enterprise. How long would that take? Asks the fisherman. 20 or 25 years at most, replies the tourist. And after that? After that, well, my friend, this is when it gets really interesting, answers the tourist, laughing. When your business gets really big, you can sell your company stock to the public and make millions. Millions? Really? And after that, asks the fisherman? After that, you'll be able to retire, live in a tiny village near the coast, sleep late, play with your children, catch a few fish, take a siesta with your wife, and spend your evenings drinking and playing guitar with your friends. And that, my friends, is the tale of the Mexican fisherman and from the book, The Happiness Equation by Neil Pasricha. And I'll tell you what, when I read that, it was just set things into perspective. We're trading time for money. When is enough enough? You know, so uh, basically the guy ends up with the same thing in the end. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like we all can be successful. We can all make millions of dollars. We can all have a successful business where we're, you know, a multimillionaire, whatever the case is, if we really just put our um, minds to it, we can all achieve that if we want. But, you know, in perspective, you know, is it really worth it in the end because you're trading time for money? And I know for me, you know, being 40 something years old now, I do not have a desire to make millions and millions of dollars anymore. Um, I think I have enough in my life as far as finances are concerned and well, you know, uh, I just, I'm trading time for money and I just, you know, anyways, uh, I hope this story, uh, you know, resonated with you as well, puts into perspective what's really important. You know, I did put a link to the book down below if you just want to check out the book. The book is very good. It does have a lot of other good information as well, but this is my, my favorite part of the book. So, we already had a good weekend, and we'll go ahead and uh, end this video here. Go ahead and like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.